Yo, what's up guys? We actually have a team that is faster for R5. It's not a team that I crafted, but it's based on what I did before where I made this team kind of. And then one of the Japanese guys actually took it and took it to the next level. And there's a few changes you see over here. And I would say that it works very nice. It doesn't really fail. I had one run that was a little bit slower in the last rotation. But this is actually just pretty much 21 seconds all the time. It averages like low 22 seconds. And the differences are a few things which I will talk about in a second. In this case, we actually didn't get the slow over there. But there's a lot more team-ups going on on both sides right now, which enable the uh, more debuffs. And with no more debuffs, your Brandia hits more. And it's a little bit faster. There's less downtime on it and those kind of things. So that definitely makes it very nice. The idea is still the same thing. You have a Brandia, hit big, kill the uh, first half, and then you have Bale, hit big, kill the second half. And then we're looking at like 21 points something, which is really crazy fast. The thing is with my team that I had, you had like the desync-ish where Ken sometimes used two skills. In this case, Ken pretty much never uses two, K, uh, two skills. So it's, it's just not there. Like Ken uses one skill always no matter what kind of headbutts you have. And uh, some people told me it's because of the um, blue robo that I hit in there, that like the slight millisecond that he took his turn was kind of desyncing things. Um, if I don't get a branding, it takes a little bit longer because some of the other hits have to connect as well because my bail doesn't fully kill it then and then it's slightly bit slower. So if I have better runes on the bail pretty much, it would just kill through no branding as well. I think the brandy is kind of on point where it already kills, no matter branding or not, if there's at least like all of the other debuffs are there. So brandy hits about like, I have seen brandy hit for like 510k or so. I think the whole boss has about 620k HP. And so you just need to hit like 310 like each round and then it's pretty much that. Um, it's pretty hard to showcase this team, but I'm first going to showcase like the individual teams left and right as well. And then we're going to go into runes. I kind of overdid it on some of the runes because I've seen from uh, what the Japanese guy was using. And I also link, of course, like his stuff down below as well. Um, he used a lot of like combination runes are pretty tanky units, but mm, they are somewhat needed for some reason. I'll talk a little bit more about later. Um, so yeah, I wanted to check out the teams, but the jump already happened. I have no clue what happened on that right team so far. Now let's uh, let's go back to it uh, for the next round that we have. We have a team up, yay! Oh wait, why is that Raog? Is that the wrong Raog? Could that be a thing that I'm using the wrong Raog? Because that is absolutely a possibility. Because I saw that Raog not having will runes. Wait, let me double check that because there was something going wrong somewhere in one of the teams. And it could be that the Oak was maybe on... Oh wait, let me double check it if there was the right Oak. Can I actually check the Rogue stats? It was the... Uh, <laughs> that's not how you rune a Rogue. But I think it's also the wrong one. Because the other one is uh, better ruined. Yep, this is the right one. So that was actually... Well, even with the wrong Oak, it was still working. Interesting. So I'm not really sure if the team order was probably... Um, Correct or not correct, but if the Oak had a slow, he actually had a thing. So we have a team up of Hikaru moving first, then we have Lauren moving. That's the only two units that move. So this whole team is based on like you have two units move and then the jump happens and then you have one other unit move. In this case, the one other unit that moves is the Oak, and that Oak was not the case if uh, he got slowed. So that was kind of the issue on there. So it's just the Hikaru moving team upping with everything we have Fami on the team Fami dies and whatever they team up with either it is armor breaks we have glancing hit from the orang as well i'm not even sure what chami does on s1 uh it's branding for sure but i'm not sure if chami does another uh hit on this as well i'll also disturb recovery so this one and this one have different s1s i should have to max uh skill this one because the activation rate on the s1 probably gets higher so you have pretty much a lot of debuffs on S1s over here because you have two units with two different debuffs plus branding on the S1. So that makes that team for a lot of teams very nice. And then we of course have Lauren for like the things that she does with the slow and that kind of stuff. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to that team. It's just team debuff. <laughs> that's the main thing. But in this case, you actually have uh, with the other team that I used it was one team armor break and one team 
uh, branding. In this case, you have two teams, uh, just debuffs. So in this case, on this side, we have two units that instantly die. I don't need them to be there for the second jump. It is just there like for uh, dying on the first rotation. That is where Brandia gets the debuffs and that's where Brandia have to hit. So therefore, these units are also level one and just straight have to die. I did see, however, with the Japanese guy, he was using a lot of accuracy runes and I was kind of confused. Like, you know, you barely need any accuracy for this dungeon. Apparently, it's like 15 or so. But for the units that you have to put very low stats to, it is pretty chill if you don't have to put any accuracy to and you just have uh, accuracy from accuracy runes. So it's a combination rune. So both of them die. We have the Prilia move. Then we have the Ken move. Ken is actually on damage. Ken also dies after this as well. And when the Ken dies, you have the Tark with team up and the team up will always go with the Prilia and the uh, Shihua. So Prilia and Shihua also means that you always have like the chance of branding and armor break for sure that is the main thing about the team and then in the middle we have one that's actually pretty interesting we uh don't well we only have one death mechanic well technically two but you only care about one uh, death going on there you could maybe add shield runes into this one where the bail gets the stack not during this moment but during the previous moment it's slightly faster but i'm not sure if that desyncs things that's something that i'm gonna try after this, maybe put you like a shield set on like the Colleen or something. Let's see if that actually desyncs or it might be faster. But if that is fast, I'll put it all the way at the end of the video. If not, you're not going to see it there if it desyncs. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, I can't really showcase the runes from here because the runes are going way too fast. There's absolutely no way of showing the runes. And I'll showcase what that Dark Inferno, which I don't even know the name of, is supposed to do in that team as well. Which, if I press replay, I can check here. Uh, can I just... Nope, not like that. Hold it. Why do this thing never really properly work? Okay. He dies, and I was like, oh, he just dies, and then he gets some damage in, and that damage is there. But the heal block. The heal block is actually the thing that makes it interesting for him, so he needs the accuracy in there as well. So let's look at the units. This one is a double fight plus will runes. Will runes is to keep the passive in, if in case you get oblivion. So you just have that. Um, this thing is actually way too fast, but I noticed if he always dies, it doesn't really matter. I was too lazy to actually get runes that are like super low. So I used some runes that just don't have too much stats in there. And then same thing also will to get the passive in for that. Uh, we have the can, which is a first damage dealer. This one is supposed to be pretty squishy. I still aim for some accuracy. And then you also have crit damages max on him because he's going for the first hit. Uh, we have Prilia in there that's just pretty tanky. I think I really overdid it in the tankiness. Like I saw this kind of tanky Prilia on like uh, his team and then with a lot lower attack stats. I went for uh, both kind of. So I just used the optimize and I threw like all kinds of runes at it. You don't need this much stats in like attack and that kind of stuff. You just have to make them tanky enough. I aimed for a uh, 115k effective HP. But I should have used 115k effective HP with artifacts that are actually defensive style. Because in this case, um, you're just overstacking way too much on that. And you're throwing way too much defensive stats at it that you don't really need. Same thing for this one. Um, it, this is just double fight. Like the, the fight runes are pretty much just for the can to hit pretty hard. That, that, that's about it. But yeah, this one also has a lot of stats. You don't need that many stats. You just need to survive. And then it barely does any damage and it doesn't really matter. Uh, we have the Brandia. Um, I would say you probably need the Brandia for this. Miriam might work. I would give it a try. Maybe with my runes it actually works on Miriam. Let, let's give that a try after this as well. Um, but yeah, just stats like that. Then we have the the, the Bo Brandia, something like that. Yes, I always uh, miss those names. I uh, think with this one, Theomars actually has to be as low HP and defense as possible. So you have to put the absolute lowest on this one. Because... Uh, Theomars is actually triggering Colleen during the stomp to uh, go for the skill. So that is the main importance. Theomars should be on as low stats as possible. So Colleen can actually heal because this thing is low HP. And if the spray happens, then the Colleen should be low HP and therefore always heal. So th those are like the perfect eye mechanics over there. Then with the Brandia with the hard hitting skill, I aimed for, I think, 85k on or 90k on effective HP and the rest all in stats of damage this one i think maybe a little bit too much attack stats as well maybe you can lower this down a little bit uh, as well to just up his damage by a little bit 
But yeah, also with that. And then of course for Bren, yeah, you have the crit damage is max because she does the damage early on. And then this one, you have the crit damage is low and then increasing attack effect also helps out quite a lot. So we once again have like crit damage is low and an increasing attack effect. And then on the last team, we have the Chami. This one is actually supposed to be somewhat tanky um, with a shield set. I think there's two shield sets in this team. It's already enough. Got the defense ones in here and also got crit damage slow on those. Uh, Fami is just there to die. That's pretty simple. Ikaru is a simple Ikaru as you've always seen, but then double fight and will. And then this thing is also the other shield sets. And this guy's also went for crit damage of max or crit damage is low. Just, just crit damage including. Uh, this one I still have to skill up. I think it will be a little bit better if it is actually skilled up. Some damage stats on those I just gave like... I could just do fight runes in here as well. Like I don't really need energy runes or anything. Like I think there's too many stats in these anyways. And then the same thing for Ra'og. So that is pretty much all there is to it. Uh, let's actually switch out the Debra for a Miriam. And then see if that would work. Because I am actually not sure about that. But it might. It might. Uh, Debra, Debra. But I would say if you use the Miriam. Then you would need a lot of stats to actually make it work. With the uh, the Debra, you could get away with a little bit less stats. Oh, I remember the Miriam is somewhere over here because she's not max level for, well, no reason, pretty much. Let's see if we go into this. We switch out the Debra for a Miriam. And yeah, technically she never has to take a turn. And that should maybe be... It, it just depends if we do enough damage. That's the only thing. Like if the, uh, the Brandia and the... Uh, Bail do enough damage. There is a big damage decrease. We checked it last time, but we did 93s on the Bail on the last hit. So let's see how much that is. There's a lot more debuffs on this right now. So this should still totally kill like 444k. It's still like 130k of over what we need to do for enough damage. But I would say that if the Bail, if there's no branding on this, which might happen because you have team ups, but you don't guarantee branding. But we do 80k instead of 93k. That's a really big decrease. That's actually like a straight up like 15 to 20 percent off the damage that we're doing with uh, a Debra. But as you can say, it still works. It's just probably has more chance of that you need better runes and you're more likely that you need all of the debuffs there. But in this case, let's see four debuffs. We had a branding coming in very late, but. It was still enough because the branding comes in very late. I think that's why I probably cannot do a shield set in the middle team because the can has to land one of the brandings first and therefore there has to be a little bit of delay for the Brandia to actually do her skill. Brand, Brandia, Debra, man, so many names that are always confusing. But yeah, it seems to work with uh, Miriam. So for the people that uh, are saying like, oh, looking for Debra, I can't make this team. Uh, get a Mirian and get a OP runes. <laughs> That's kind of the thing that you have to uh, aim for. You need the OP runes to actually make it work. If there's no branding, you might have an issue that you don't do enough damage. But I'm not sure what the likelihood of failing on that is. But this version does seem to be very more um, fine if you do not have that brand yet because... Yeah, I, I think if there's no branding, then uh, the bail is definitely not going to kill. That's 100% sure. But I think there can be other units that can still clean up and it's still fine. And the odds of getting the branding with how many team ups there are, it is definitely uh, probably still working. So, yeah, I would say like after the Ro'ok, you still have like these two units move that can do quite some damage. Uh, this one on the S3 actually does damage from harmful effects as well. So if you put a lot of damage on the Arang, you can add in quite some damage. Shikwa doesn't have too much damage on her skill 3, but it's still pretty decent. Yeah, so in this case, this was actually a rotation where there was no branding. And you saw that a few skill more skills were flying. But this is probably then 23 seconds. Yep, so 23 seconds, that's still definitely very good. And that's if there's no branding. So, yeah, you can actually use this with Miriam as well. That's pretty interesting. But I, as I said at the start, I might try that thing for like putting a shield set in this team. I can already tell you that won't work simply because uh, you would get a desync of Brandia hitting before the branding that can could land. So that would absolutely desync that and that would not make anything faster. Of course, I do have the Brandia, so, uh, or not the Brandia, the Deborah. 
and therefore the Brandia does more damage. So I'm going away from that Miriam, which is usable, but if things go wrong, this thing would make it that I do more damage. And then that is exactly what we're going to put in here. And that's pretty much all there is to the R5 team, which is pretty cool that it works without Debra. But you need pretty good runes if you want to make that work. So that is pretty much all there is to it. And that's also perfect timing for me to farm it because, uh, well, we have the free R5 thing coming up this weekend. So that's pretty chill. Guys, thanks for watching. Like this video if you've had if, uh, English. Like this video if you haven't yet, write something, whatever in the comments. I always appreciate that. I read all of the comments and see you as always in the next video.